take it from me someday we'll all be free and it won't be long y'all take it from me listen and believe it or not that day might be coming uh sooner than we expect and sooner than we anticipate you know i um uh, don't understand why people don't understand just how close we are to the end of the road i mean All the great empires had to fall at some point. And unfortunately, it just looked like ours is on the way. And I don't think a lot of us are even in a mindset that it can happen. When you look at what's happening on the political front with the Joe Manchins, with them not wanting to pass the voter rights bill, with them wanting to go back in time as opposed to going forward, no way you can survive because we ain't going back to the way it used to be. Which y'all done got some new chains and shackles and everything too. Um, that. Uh, toothpaste had been squeezed out of that tube way too far to put us back in. So you're going to have to figure out a different way, right? And you guys are doing it. You, you, you're working on the voter suppression and all the other things. But what got me was I saw an article today uh, by North Korea leader uh, Kim Jong-un who has accused the United States of hostility and threats, which he used as a reason to resume testing his nuclear explosives and intercontinental ballistic missiles. During a particular meeting of the ruling Workers Party Thursday, Kim said American hostility reached a danger line that can no longer be ignored. The officials of the Workers' Party call for practical measures to more reliably and effectively increase our physical strength for defending dignity, sovereign rights, and interests of our states, according to the Korean Central Intelligence Agency. Korea criticized the U.S. and South Korea for continually military exercises, as well as the U.S. Army's South Korea with advanced weaponry. Kim also accused Washington of continuing to send assets to South Korea in order to pressure North Korea. Always in somebody's business. The last time North Korea conducted tests of nuclear ICBMs was in 2017. And in September of that year, the sixth and final test of nuclear explosive device occurred in that November, and the last launch of an ICBM took place. Kim announced that North Korea was no longer restricted and by a self-imposed testing moratorium. The moratorium was set in place when Kim agreed to a unilateral suspension of tests in 2018 after meeting with the then president, Donald Trump, and discussed the testing for, from 2017, during which Kim demonstrated the possession of an arsenal that could target um, the American mainland. Threats of nuclear annihilation had been exchanged between Trump and Kim. They want to destroy the world. Look at them. Look at them. With a bloodthirst for power. When the U.S. rejected Korea's demand for 2019 for major sanctions relief in exchange for a partial surrender in the nuclear capabilities, negotiations then stalled. Kim also said that North Korea was no longer obliged or obligated to maintain the suspension 
which Trump touted as a major achievement, the AP reported. During the North Korean military parade in October 2020, Kim showcased a new weapon that he uh, said he wanted to test. The weapon appeared to be North Korea's largest ICBM. Woo! As the AP reported, some experts speculate that after the upcoming Winter Olympics in Beijing, North Korea could significantly raise the stakes in weapons and demonstrations. Pyongyang is squarely focused on meeting its nuclear weapons milestone because of its military and Pareto said to do so. Um, <laughs> this means more tests to come. The pandemic has brought Pyongyang ample time to continue development nuclear weapons because North Korea closed its borders and has been refusing direct talks afraid of importing the virus. She said that North Korea's assertion of U.S. hostility is an excuse just for continuing the continuation of testing. Last week, the Biden administration imposed fresh sanctions over continued missile tests. However, North Korea foreign ministry warned of stronger action following the sanctions. The State Department also ordered the sanctions of a Russian, you know, I mean, listen, it, you know, this, this is, this is, this is insane. This is insane. A Russian company for their support of uh, North Korea's weapons. The Biden administration said it would pursue additional UN sanctions over North Korea's tests, according to Associated Press. South Korea said it was absolutely, uh, it was closely monitoring the North and that the UN Security Council scheduled a closed door meeting on Thursday to discuss North Korea and non proliferation matters. We in trouble. I mean, but I believe this country is going to be destroyed from within. Are uh, we getting right for the, all the other countries that want to take advantage of us? For all the dirt that we've done over the years, over the centuries, the decades. But um, I think the first contempt, a point sign of contention is going to be right here in America. We're going to destroy ourselves. Yep. So tell me what y'all think about it. What you think about North Korea? Talking about firing back up his nuclear weapons. <clears throat> what y'all think about that? All right. I'll wait for your comments. <laughs>